the chair now recognizes Mr. Kim. Thank you so much all for coming here. Uh, Admiral uh, Jirwa, I want to start with you. Uh, I want to ask you, do you assess that we have successfully flattened the curve in the United States? Um, let me give you two tenses. Number one, we did flatten the curve during uh, the time to flatten the curve because we expected a lot more cases. Right now, as you know, the case numbers are going up. So are we flattening the curve right now? We are not fl flattening the curve right now. The curve is still going up. Do you think we're headed in the right direction? Right now, um, and I tried to nuance this a little bit, in many counties we are, in many states we are, in many states we aren't. As you know, four states are accounting for about 50% of our new cases, uh, and they're very concerning to all in public and with, health. And with those states with increased uh, cases, I often hear, and I've heard my colleagues here say this last time around, that the increase in the positive cases is due to increased testing. In your professional and expert assessment, is that, is that, does that account for the increase that we're seeing in those states? Um, there is no question that the more testing you get, the more you will uncover, but we do believe this is a real increase in cases because the percent positivities are going up. So this is real increases in cases. Uh, you said today that you think we should be looking at the guidelines of the opening up America. So I was just looking it up here and it said, the satisfied before proceeding to phased comeback, it said, cases, downward trajectory of documented cases within a 14-day period or downward trajectory of positive tests as a percent of the total tests within a 14-day period. Do you know how many states are fulfilling this these standard right now? Um, so right now, there's, there's, a, there's a lot of movement in the mm -hmm. system, as you know. Some have drawn back certain activities and some have kept going. Um, I do, I do want to make the statement, if you, if you let me, is that um, what we're really seeing, we have seen states reopen quickly and have had no cases. We've seen cases not reopen and have a lot of cases. We really do believe the current outbreak is primarily due to under 35s with a lot of gatherings, not appropriate protection like, like masks. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's important to reopen and we believe in the guidelines, but I think the weight of the evidence is guidelines are not. Um, you know, the personal responsibility is really a key right now. Sure, absolutely. And, I, you know, when we're seeing this increased uh, positive cases, as you were talking about, that's exceeding what we see in terms of our increase in testing, um, we all know that we want to continue to have more testing available. You just said of so course. in the response. So I understand your written testimony that there's a company that is producing more than 10 million laboratory testing, extraction, and PCR kits per month, enabling states to complete millions of additional tests. Right. However, I also understand that the contract you highlighted expires in five days. So I wanted to ask you, can you commit to this committee today that there will not be a reduction in that testing capacity? Um, there's not going to be a reduction in testing capacity. So. The, the contract you're talking about, we had initially acquired, we, we acquired very few laboratory reagents, um, but we did acquire that because the states were not accustomed to using many of them, this one company. Um, and what we're seeing right now is, you know, we want the, we, we want, we think the market is stable enough. You've got 10.25 billion into the states that the states will buy that um, from that specific company. But we did because they were the states, when I say the states, it's laboratories in the states we're not um, as accustomed to using this, this type of test with this type of machine yeah. that we did sort of seed, the, seed, seed that by buying it federally and distributing it. Just two questions left for you. Uh, my home state in New Jersey was hit particularly hard by the virus and in March and April we were really struggling. We had very few tests available. We tried to seek additional HHS backed, FEMA backed, uh, the federally backed test sites. Um, we had two in New Jersey, we're trying to get more. And we were told that that request was denied and that none of, no more federal test sites would be stood up in our country at, in the beginning of April. I just wanted to learn from you, who made that decision? And can you tell me how that decision was made not to have any more federally backed test sites? So um, I think that's not true because we started 41 completely federally run sites, but the plan had always been to transition those. So we have 624 federally sponsored retail pharmacy sites now because 41 drive throughs that is run by the well, public Well, I get that, but that was, that was not until May that those were stood up. No, that's we not were... true. Okay. 
That, I mean, we've been well, standing I, I love it. For, if you don't mind, we can take for the record and you yeah. can get back to me with that timeline. That'd be really helpful. Just the last, last question here. Um, I just want to clarify your position regarding the World Health Organization since you mentioned this earlier today. You said reforms are needed. We get that. Uh, you also mentioned that you were confirmed by the Senate, and I was looking it up, it was in May, to be the U.S. representative on the executive board of the World Health Organization. So I wanted to ask you, was it your recommendation that the United States terminate our relationship with the WHO during the middle of the pandemic? I, I was not asked for a recommendation. So, you, uh, so when President Trump made that decision later in that month after you were sworn in as the U.S. representative to the executive board of the WHO, he did not seek your advice or your consideration before he made that decision. Is that what you were saying? Um, I have not provided a recommendation to anyone. That's okay. correct. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, back to you.